Hello guys, Kiro from Skydrons here. Welcome to our test flight. So today we have a very unusual test flight because instead of the big ground control station, we have just a tablet here uh, without nothing. So it's just connected on the Wi-Fi. Uh, we have smart VGCS running here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna test our drone flying via internet. So it's sending over here now. It's a good smart e Max autopilot, uh, smart link, digital communication system. Uh, standard HD video camera and also uh, LT modem. So what we do now is we have uh, our Smart PGCS running here on the iPad and all what we do we press connect via internet. So we have all the telemetry and parameters loaded. Here we have the video it's coming soon. Yes now we got the video. Uh, let's do it full screen. So we have here the uh, 4G connection status which is Tele2. It's our provider name. Uh, LT 4G connection status and uh, connection quality is 3 out of 5 at the moment, not pretty big because we are on the ground at the moment. So what we're going to do is do some uh, autonomous manual test flights. Uh, while the drone is standing over here, uh, we go over there to the uh, spot where we're going to be. And, uh, and yeah. Alright, so here we are. Uh, all we do now is just switch to position halt mode, which we are already in. So then we arm the system. Yes, we want to arm. Home set. Armed. And we press take off button. Mode takeoff. Flying. So the drone is taking off uh, to the initial altitude of 5 meters. That's pretty fine in the settings. So it took off and we're waiting for the next command. So you can see the real-time video feed, which is uh, pretty good quality and the drone is hovering over there in the sky so what we do now is we switch to mode position, position control. Uh, control mode and now we can do some manual control we have artificial sticks here on the tablet they are not super nice because it doesn't give you a, a physical touch but still it's uh, pretty good in case you want to use that for just repositioning the drone in position control mode so we can do forward uh, right increase the altitude a bit left so it's pretty good for positioning uh, it's also okay if you want to move uh, the yaw a little bit to adjust the camera angle of view so here we have again the connection status via internet that's now five out of five because we increased the altitude to what's to like uh, 10 meters we have that on the telemetry so also we have here in smart pgcs all other status information like the uh, remaining battery time, which is 16 minutes now, uh, detailed battery information, uh, satellite connection, the flight time, uh, overall system status. Uh, also have camera controls here and the option to switch to the second video feed in case we have the second camera on board. We can do video recording on board as well. Uh, so yeah, all right, that's, that's good. Now let's get it back to the initial takeoff position manually. And what I do now is just uh, press land button so we can see the models change to land and the drone is slowly coming back to the ground while again we have all the video and telemetry and we can override the controls if we want and after landing it just uh, slightly reduces the power and uh, disarms the system automatically landed disarmed Sorry. mode position control all right, thanks for joining us for this video, for this flight test. Hope you enjoyed that. That was a demonstration of Smart EP Max, Smart Link, and Smart EP GCS running on an iPad uh, with a connection uh, using internet. Uh, do stay tuned for more updates from SkyDrones and visit our website, skydrones.com, for more information. Hope you enjoyed that again. Uh, have a nice evening and see you soon. Bye-bye.